This cake's not only moist and delicious, it's incredibly simple to make. Your friends and family will be very impressed. Let's make some mocha cake on The One Pot Chef. I love mocha cake. Now mocha obviously is chocolate and coffee and this is just an absolutely gorgeous cake. So first of all I've greased and lined a 20 centimeter baking tin. I've just sprayed it with a little spray oil and put some baking paper on the bottom. We just set that aside while we go and make our cake batter. In a heavy base saucepan over low heat I'm going to add in 100 grams of butter. 200 grams of chocolate. I'm using milk chocolate buttons, but of course you could use dark chocolate, you could use any kind of chocolate you prefer. I'm also adding in half a cup of caster sugar or super fine white sugar and half a cup of milk. And over that low heat we're just going to stir this together until the butter and the chocolate have melted together and everything is nice and smooth. I've taken our chocolate mixture off the stove and I've allowed it to cool for a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's all lovely and mixed together. We're going to add in three teaspoons of instant coffee, which I've just dissolved in about a tablespoon of water. I'm also going to beat in four eggs, which I've just lightly beaten in a cup. And one and one third cups of self-raising flour. As I've said on many occasions, if you don't have self-raising flour or can't find it where you live, all you need to do is use plain flour and add in one teaspoon of baking powder. And that's our cake mix ready to go. We can now transfer this into our cake tin. This is ready to go into a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the centre of the cake comes out nice and clean. Our cake's just come out of the oven. I'm just going to leave it in the tin for about 10 minutes and then take it out and transfer it to a wire rack to cool completely. Now in this bowl, it's a heat proof bowl which I've got suspended over a saucepan with a very small amount of simmering water in it. Make sure the glass bowl and the water aren't in direct contact otherwise we're going to end up burning our chocolate. I've got 40 grams of butter in the bowl already and I'm putting in 200 grams of chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate but of course you could also use dark chocolate if you wish. So as that water is simmering the steam that's coming off the water is going to slowly and gently melt the chocolate and the butter together. Our chocolate mixture is lovely and thick, absolutely gorgeous. Butter is nearly finished melting into it. I think we're ready to start finishing off our cake. As you can see I've cut the cake in half and I'm just going to spread this chocolate mixture into the centre of the cake. I'm just going to place the top of the cake back on. And last but not least, a light dusting of icing sugar over the top. That looks absolutely gorgeous. So, who fancies a slice? Let's have a taste. Oh, wow. Mm. That's amazing. The cake is beautiful and moist and it's got that wonderful sort of chocolate coffee flavour. There's a definite sort of coffee vibe to it. And you've got that chocolate fudge layer in the centre. Absolutely gorgeous. Trust me, everyone you, you serve this to will love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.